there are, there are other approaches uh, than than choice teaching, but tell us what choice teaching is about. Well, choice teaching is is all about allowing the dog, you know, guiding the dog um, and encouraging them to make the correct decision. Mm-hmm. But then allowing the dog the choice, not forcing the dog to do things, um, because once once you show a dog what you want them to do, they enjoy doing it. For example, um, I love teaching dogs to walk next to me on leash, and we do it with a long spoon dipped in peanut butter. Peanut butter? Frozen in the freezer. Absolutely. And when the dog walks Right beside me, he gets to lick the spoonful of peanut butter. If he runs off, we don't we don't say a word. You know, we're in a safely enclosed area. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And very quickly, the dog learns that being beside you is the place that feels the best. And the peanut butter goes away. But the memory of this has felt good before stays mm-hmm. with the dog. And you allow them the opportunity to to actually think and process through things, you have a very intelligent animal and and a dog who's able to, you know, to sort of figure out more than you would ever imagine. One of the things I, I think you also give the dog an opportunity to do is to fail and and, and not be, you know, Absolutely. yelled at or ups, or you know scolded. You, Dogs don't get dogs don't understand that. I mean, they are doing everything they can to understand us. They do not speak human. Mm-hmm. And and so I think it's very important that that the dog be given you know, the, our only correction is the absence of reward. Yeah. And that's that's ample ample correction for a dog. They truly do want to do what's in their best interest, which is pleasing you. 